What's up guys, it's your boy Philly here with the Mothership Tech Channel and today we're actually going to spend a bit of time chatting about SteelSeries Arctis Pro wireless gaming headset and more importantly whether or not I feel it's a good value at the $360 sticker price range that it comes in at. So stay tuned and let's get into it. All right, guys, here it is, the Arctis Pro wireless gaming headset. Uh, right off the bat, one thing that I'll let you know is that uh, I do really like its minimalistic design. Um, this is the black edition. There are no RGBs incorporated on the outer perimeter. If you want that, you do have to look for the wired version with DAC. Personally, I don't find it beneficial at all, although I do like RGBs in, in, in my gaming setup in the room. Nobody's going to see this unless somebody was sitting there watching me play a game. So keep that in mind. Having RGB on the headset may or may not be a little bit pointless depending on your perspective, but this doesn't incorporate any RGB. Now getting into it, one of the first things I want to quickly talk to you about right off the top is the fact that this is uh, <clears throat> a headless strap, which, you know, in my opinion, works a lot better. It's lighter on the head. It causes less fatigue. And for any of you out there who haven't experienced a head strap like this, um, I actually have come to prefer it over a hard strap at the top um, or a hard top as I would call it because those tend to start pinching the top of my head and over prolonged use start to really fatigue my head where I don't want to wear the headset no more. Have not experienced this uh, from this headset. Had the headset for a little over a year. Um, so given my prolonged use with it, I can honestly say that this is one of the more comfortable headsets that I've worn. Um, including in with the head strap, if we move into the actual ear cups, the one key feature here that I really like is that they're oval in shape uh, versus circular. Uh, I've had previous headsets in the past from Razer uh, to Astro to Sennheiser and some of them, not all of them, depending on the, the version or the model you get, have circular ear cups. I tend to find with my ears, my ears are a bit longer, that it pinches over time and it just causes ear fatigue. With this oval shape, they sit nice and comfortably inside and I never experienced that pinching effect. Lastly, the material is a nice soft fabric. It's not suede or super plush like some of the HyperX products that I've used or even Astro for that matter. However, with those models, I will say after prolonged use, your ears do get hot and overheated. I find that to be less the case with these ones. So you can go much longer and your ears don't really feel hot. Um, this particular model, which is the Pro Series, which at the time of this video retails for about 360 Canadian on Amazon, one of its hugest selling features back when it launched was the fact that it was Bluetooth plus wireless dual RF. And for anybody that's curious what this means, and it is a feature that I've come to really love, it simply means that when pairing with the Bluetooth button here to your, say your cell phone, you can both Bluetooth listen to your music from your phone, take phone calls, while still simultaneously listening to your, your wireless uh, audio from your computer through the wireless uh, mod module included in the package. So it's a really cool feature, especially if you play music on online games, you don't have to alt tab to your playlist. You can simply just control this from your phone. It also means that if a, an important phone call comes through, you could actually take that call and talk to the person while uh, still streaming your wi your wireless uh, uh, content through your, your headset as well. So that's a very cool feature and, and many of you who haven't experienced it yet, I would highly recommend it if you do like to multitask your audio when you're playing games with music. It is a really cool function. It does run on a 2.4 gigahertz lossless audio. So what this means is that, you know, it's, it, uh, it's Steel Series way of basically just telling you that you know what you're you're not going to get any lag or intermission issues with your actual audio. It is running on 2.4 gigahertz, so this has a very huge range. Um, on the box, it says it can go up to 40 feet. I've never tested the 40 feet, but I can honestly say that going even up to 10 to 12 feet, um, I've had no issues going from my room to the kitchen. You know, I could still communicate with friends and no drop dropping of of audio or communication. So in that respect, you know, uh, really good audio quality. It is a bi-directional mic, uh, so it picks it up from both buff, uh, top and bottom with noise cancellation and noise suppression in it. Uh, I will give you a demonstration on this a little bit later um, so that you can hear the mic quality. Uh, I'll type on the keyboard so you can hear how much noise it picks up in the background. But you know, from a mic perspective, considering mics in general get a bad rap on gaming headsets, this one's one of the decent ones. 
you know, I'm not going to say it's, it's a pro level mic. It's not, but you know, for what it's intended to do, it's actually not a bad mic. I'd even go as far as to say, even if you wanted to amateur review videos, um, you could do that. You could do that perfectly with this headset. If you wanted to just make and create some content, you could actually do that. Um, it does offer DTS 2.0 virtual surround sound. So this is really great for, I guess, you know, first person shooter type games, games where you want to hear that foot pattern. Like if, if it's bi-directional coming behind you to the side of you. Um, one of the reasons why I like these headphones over the Astro A50s is the fact that when I had the Astro A50s, I don't know. I don't know if any of you guys have ever experienced this, but when you turn on the Dolby option on their gaming DAC, it sounded like everything was coming through a tin can. Um, really horrible sounding quality. Although it had good directional feedback, um, the sound quality just, just wasn't there. And I actually wasn't really happy with the Astros in this respect. Um, I tried connecting it a wide variety of ways, can never eliminate that. Um, so I don't know if maybe some of the newer Astro sets have eliminated that. Maybe for any of you guys out there that still have one, you know, please add a comment on the below if that uh, tin can sound is still there with the Astros in the comment section. Um, but otherwise, this is pretty much about it. You know, it's a lightweight aluminum steel design, um, so it can sit on your head very comfortably, although they do look big. Um, they are actually quite light, so you could use these for a prolonged period. It does have a mute button, which is on the back here. Not a huge fan of it being a push button. I actually like retractable mics that mute by that way. But, you know, unfortunately, I haven't found the one all gaming headset that just offers everything that I like. But considering all that this offers, so, so, you know, it, it's a pretty decent headset. So um, you have a volume scroll here. You have a 3.5 millimeter jack here for your mobile audio. Um, so that's a good feature if you ever wanted to use these mobile. Moving on to the wireless station, um, again, this is where you will charge your second battery. This is another huge feature of the headset. So it is swappable batteries. And what this means is that on your headset, underneath the magnetic clip here, you have a battery. Once this drains, you get about 10 hours per use per battery. You simply can pop out the battery, pop it into your wireless transmitter, and this will do all the charging. Um, it is a pull in, pop up, and then it pops out. Again, I kind of wish it was just a push in, push out mechanism. It is what it is. You may not love this, but again, it gets the job done. So that's where you will charge your spare battery while you're using the battery in your actual headset. From a design perspective, very, very minimalistic. Something I really appreciate in my gaming peripherals. I don't really like loud uh, gaming peripherals that just show I'm a gamer. You know, for someone in my age group who does like to play games, I like a minimalistic design. I do like some aspects. I like, you know, uh, the Razer keyboards with RGB and so forth. Um, but, you know, again, I don't like to overdo it. So I feel like this has a good minimalistic design. Um, it has a good weight to it. So it feels pretty premium in that sense. And, you know, they did a really good job. And I will show you a bit later going into the menu just how simple it is to use this uh, wireless transmitter and all the different functions that it will offer you. On the back, pretty straightforward. Again, you have functions where if you're using an external audio source, like maybe a PS5, PS4, you know, you have your optical in. Um, if you're going to output this to a receiver, you have your optical out. You have various ways to power it as well as a line in, line out. So um, a number of different functionalities that this headset can offer. And again, at the $360 price range, this is to be expected. You want extra features and extra connections to be able to connect this to whatever you want to. Now, even though the headset launched a a few years ago, it's still relevant because there's not a lot of, you know, high-end uh, wireless gaming headsets in the scene. In fact, the only wireless headset that's probably even comparable, at least price-wise, to this would be the Astro A50s. Uh, but again, you know, from a headset perspective, very good, very nice. It does have some plastic pieces despite its aluminum uh, uh, steel design. So uh, again, I don't know if you can hear it, but you know, there is some plastic in there and you can hear it when it shifts and moves, but it has great flexibility, great range of motion. Um, and I don't really think they'll, they'll break that easily because I've been using them for a year and you know, they're still in phenomenal shape. Whereas I've had plenty of, let's just say, for example, razor products and, you know, razor always seem to, you know, the plastic parts here in razor always seem to crack after a year or two. And then I'd have to replace the headset. So kudos to steel, steel series in this. In this case, I feel like they have built a, a pretty premium product here. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys like the up close shots. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much the basics of the headset itself. 
So here's the wireless transmitter powered on, the source currently connected to my PC, and the battery residing within the wireless transmitter is fully charged. When you hit the power button, you are presented with a number of different options, three to be specific. Audio being of one of the more important ones where you can control your chat mix. This is your feedback vocally to your, your clan mates, your teammates. Equalizer, which will have a number of different preset sound stages. Surround sound, which can be enabled, which enables the DTS functionality that gives you that perception of footsteps behind you, to the side of you, etc. Side tone, so you can hear yourself through your mic, and then of course controlling your Bluetooth volume separately. Um, so. Going through this, you can change the source. If you had this hooked up to also a console system, you could easily and quite quickly change the source right from here, as well as then you have a number of options. Now, again, for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna go through every option, but I will point out for anyone that is considering this or will get it, this volume limiter out of the box is initially enabled. Having this enabled uh, does limit the loudness of the headset itself. You do wanna go into this option and turn that off if you want the mic to go louder. So that's something to keep in mind if you're going to be out there making this purchase. All right, guys, here is your mic check and uh, sounds pretty good. Um, obviously, like any gaming headset, it still suffers a bit from that nasally sound, uh, but it's very clear as far as I'm concerned and, and the audio is coming through quite nicely. And uh, this is how I pretty much sound when I'm playing my game. So uh, for the most part, I'm very happy with the mic and I think you will be too if you're looking for an all-in-one gaming headset. From a noise suppression, um, not the greatest. Some of the other mics out there offer far superior noise suppression mics. Obviously, this is still picking up quite a bit of noise. Um, you can adjust a bit of that through the wireless transmitter, but not that much. So if you're looking for absolute noise cancellation, this headset might not be the one for you. Uh, but hopefully this mic quality test gives you an idea of what it will sound like for you. Uh, and again, as we move on throughout the video, I will conclude on what I think. All right, guys, that concludes today's video, and I hope some of the information has helped you guys today if you were considering buying this headset. I did promise you I would conclude on what I think, and truly, at the $360 price range, um, it's going to depend. Um, if you're someone who just has an abundance of money and wants the very best gaming wireless headset that money can buy right now, then this is a tremendous headset, and you will not be disappointed. It offers a lot of functionality, a lot of feature to performance, and just on that note, it, it is a wonderful headset. However, if maybe Maybe you don't have a ton of cash, let's just say you only had like $400 saved up and you're wondering should I go splurge and spend my entire $400 on this gaming headset, um, I would probably say no. In this case I would say, you know, maybe buy a $100, $200 gaming headset, something maybe in the LG Corsair range and you know, use the extra money for something else you might need, like whether it's other peripherals, maybe it's some video games, um, that would make more sense to me. So in this case it's a bit of a split decision, uh, it's ne not necessarily a yay or nay, uh, so I know that might not be what you want to hear, but it is a good headset, so if money is no issue then by all means you will not be disappointed. Stay safe in 2021 and here's leaving 2020. Peace. Perfect.